Do you always find yourself wondering where your paycheck goes? If you do, well, I have some bad news for you. There is only one reason why you don't have any clue where your money goes. And that is you didn't put any serious thought into your personal finances. But don't worry, you're not the only one. In fact, according to a survey, 56% of Americans didn't know how much they spent last month. But it is still not too late. The fact that you are here right now watching this video means you are considering taking your personal finances seriously. And that's an impressive first move. So stay with me until the end as we uncover the secrets of the rich on how they manage and invest their salaries. Welcome to Thrive Test. If you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button and join our community. And as always guys, give this video a thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm. 1. Be financially disciplined. Being disciplined is always the center of being successful, and that includes the journey towards financial freedom. But being disciplined is not easy, especially if you don't have a plan. So how are you going to do this? First, understand your total net worth and total expenses every month, meaning the dollars that come in, less your debts and your total spending. Understand them and get a clue how much you have each month. Without understanding them, you'll never change you will always be left wondering where your money goes. So this is a very crucial step. After that, examine your spending. You might just be surprised how much you're spending on the sneakers you bought last month, or how much you're spending on your food delivery because you're too lazy to cook. By knowing how many dollars coming in and out of your pocket, you'll also get an idea of your spending and saving habits. And that's where you're going to apply self-discipline. Since you're already aware of how much you're spending each month, you can now see where your problem lies, where you need to cut costs, and where to get your savings. And you can't do those things without practicing self-discipline. So the next time you want to click on the flash sales on Amazon, think first. 2. Make a budget and start saving. There are plenty of ways to go with this. Find what works for you. But personally, I like the straightforward technique of the 50-30-20 rule. So 50% of my income goes to essentials, 30% goes to my wants, and 20% goes to my savings and investments. For savings, it is better to choose a high-yield savings account to take advantage of the compounding interest, meaning your savings get to earn money over time. So the earlier you start saving, the better. Don't just wait until the stars align and do it now. 3. Set a financial goal. Having a budget is not enough if what you want is to become financially free. You also need to set your financial goals. Saving blindly without a purpose will just make savings feel like a burden and sooner or later you'll just be demotivated. That's why it is important to have a clear financial goal. How much you want to save and how long you intend to save it for. What is the purpose of our savings? Travel fund? Home or car fund? Or maybe retirement funds? Think about it, and it will make your savings journey more fun. 4. Invest in the right instruments There is not much you can do with regular savings if your goal is to be rich. Or let's try to be a little ambitious. If your goal is a million dollar net worth, then regular savings just won't do. You also need investments. But hold your horses. Just because I told you you'll get a million dollar net worth if you invest, you'll just go ahead and do it. There is just nothing more foolish than going to war without armor or weapons. So before you invest, try to understand what it is and how it works. Learn as much as you can before you dive into it. While investments does promise huge gains, it also comes with huge risks. Not understanding them will just cost you. So be careful with that. If you're not sure where to start, you can start by asking help from a professional first. Then go independent when you already have a full grasp of how investing works. 5. Maximize tax savings Taxes can be quite burdensome, especially if you only have your paycheck as the source of your income. That's why having tax advantage savings or retirement accounts will be very beneficial. For instance, if your employer offers you a 401k, don't hesitate and take it. It is an employer-match retirement account where your employer matches your contributions. 
It is practically free money on the table, so not taking advantage of it would be a waste. It is also tax deferred until withdrawal, meaning the gains, interest, or dividends that the account produces will not be taxed until it is withdrawn. Another retirement account that has a tax advantage is the Roth IRA. If you are qualified, your contributions to this account can be withdrawn without paying taxes, and its gains also grow tax-free. So if you want to save a lot of money from paying taxes, considering these two will be worth it. 6. Get the right insurance If you still have some dollars to spare, getting insurance will also be beneficial. Aside from giving you some peace of mind, it will also save you from losing some money in case something unexpected happens, like unexpected hospital bills, your house getting caught on fire, unexpected car repairs, and many more. The earlier you get insurance, the better, as its costs will just get expensive the older you get, especially when it comes to medical and life insurance. 7. Get a side hustle if you look into the life of those highly successful individuals, especially those self-made millionaires, you'll notice that most of them started with having 3-4 to four jobs at once. Having a 9-5 to five job is good if the pay is great. You'll have a nice house, you'll get to travel once in a while, dine out in luxurious restaurants a few times a year. However, how many do you think are capable of doing all that with just a 9-5 to five job? In fact, there is only around 16% of Americans earning more than $100,000 a year. If you're not one of them, then having a side hustle might be a good idea to increase your income streams. With the growing freelancing industry, there are already a lot of jobs that you can do in the comfort of your home. Find something that might interest you or something that you might enjoy doing in the sideline. You can do writing, sales, or illustration if you have a great sense of art. Find something you're passionate about and make money from it. 8. Invest in potentially successful businesses If you're one of those who earn a little higher than the rest, investing in potentially successful business would also be a great idea. But like any other investment, investing in a business also has its risk. So do your own research and better if you know personally the owner that the business you're investing in. In that way, you will always have an idea of his work ethics. The golden equation of financial freedom involves having several sources of income as well as exercising self-control over your spending. More importantly, make sure you have a variety of clear goals that you will work towards. After all, it's not enough to simply double money for the sake of having it. You also need to be able to appreciate your hard-earned income. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please let me know what your thoughts are on today's topic by leaving a comment down below. Thank you for watching this Thrive-tastic video. So if you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this awesome Thrive-tastic video for you to watch next.